I'm Will Brett Banks. And this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> cool. Welcome to my channel, it's Will Brett Bikes. Today we're at Aston Hill with KJB, Ben, Mr. Whippy Matthews, Vicky Bikes Balfour, Hello. mechanic extraordinaire. We're doing some training with Ian today. What are we doing then today then, Kate? A bit of everything. A bit of everything. A bit of cornering. A bit of training. A bit of fire crest. And for Ian up front. Get a shot of Ben doing that. <laughs> he kicked me in the face. I'm doing his best life, Sick. Bike being so light. <laughs> Fair after the e-bike. It's actually surprisingly grippy in the wet. Yeah. yeah. I've never rode here in the wet, so I know. A... the real wet is good. Yeah. It's when you've got that slop on top, that's when it's tough. So it's just it? <laughs> Enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah. Sideways out there. <laughs> oh yeah, first run. Definitely moist. Is it right? Benny boy. Put out. Hey. Oh, looking up really early. Nice. nice. Yeah, I How are you feeling, Ben? I'm just like tree hugging. That's fine. Finished that corner training and moving on to something else. How was that training for you? Really good. Feeling better in the corners? Yeah, yeah you were looking a lot better. Better <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going on to the no brakes challenge. So, improve braking in the corners or not braking in the corners, should I say? Mm. Bit of a death grip challenge, I think. Uh oh. So we'll, we'll, we'll head up and have a look at the. So we just drop in really and have a go at the break in the habit corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. So know the drill really, just start off where you're comfortable, ride in, let the bike roll through and then add a bike length until you feel that it's pushed on a bit. And we won't spend so long on this one because we've done it before, yeah. but it's just good in here. What we can work on is that this corner being a longer radius doesn't tend to push you in quite as tightly. So when you come into here, if you imagine you're never really at a massive load <coughs> until you get to this last little bit. Yeah. And at that point, that's where the force is the highest, but most people have turned their hips by then. Yeah. But if you, if you come out of there and get your head off that little flat spot and then out to that fallen branch up there, you'll find that as you come through, you'll just feel more and more comfortable coming through and then that wrist roll just drives it out. And then what you're doing is you're just getting yourself in the habit of not having to touch the brakes too much and just relaxing in. And what we'll do, we'll just, we'll just as I say, we won't spend too long on this one because what I really want to do is get into this next one where we've got a little bit more tech into yeah. a corner where you can really let the bike go yeah. and then see how you can carry that momentum out onto that next little straight. And so we'll, we'll do a bit of work on those two. Cool. Cool. First? Huh? Do you want to go first? Who, me? Yeah. No, you go first. What do you right. set? I'm going to set... Here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> 
I think I might regret this because I haven't even ridden it yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still reckon. Oh, he's bigger than his belly, yeah? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Attempt number two, you're going to have so much speed. No brakes. Here we go. Steph Griffin in. Oh, he's on the brake. He's on the brake. <laughs> That's where it's beginning to work. Okay, I'm going to use some of Ian's tips on where to brake in the corners during the uh, death grip challenge. I will be braking because I'll be going a lot faster, but hopefully I should be braking in the right places, not in the corner, braking all before the corner, so I can just get all the speed out of it. So I'm just going to run down this fire road and hopefully in. Wait until Kate's ready with the camera. Here we go. Okay, I felt pretty good but I reckon I can go quicker. I think coming in on the fire road was uh, not ideal. It's pretty slippery on that left hander, so I'm just walking up Ricochet. Gonna try and get a better speed. Kate's on the corner with the camera, so we'll be able to tell from multiple angles. Okay, starting a bit higher up, hoping that a bit more trail will give me a bit better flow um, and a better entry into that corner. Here we go. Oh, I've got so much mud in the eye already. Still felt quite slow. But definitely better, definitely an improvement. That's it for the uh, death grip challenge portion. It's, uh, we didn't play the game properly, and I don't think any of us did particularly well, but it certainly helped with my cornering technique. So I felt a lot quicker for the corners there. So now I think we're heading back up to do some drop training, um, probably on surface to air. So let's head up there. Come over to these drops now on surface to air. There's no one here. Ian just walks us through some tips on how to do it best. How to do it best. Um, and Ben's going to give it a go now. It's just first run through, so we'll get a video. Then we'll get some tips, more tips from Ian from Five Crest. And then we'll compare and see if we've done any better. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. If somebody could just hold my hand. Yes. <laughs> Okay, first run, got my Garmin on, in case I get lost, clean surface to air. Oh. Feet came off on that jump, <laughs> didn't mean to. She goes. She got it? She got it? Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! Phew!
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it, the training's over, there's some pretty good gains. If you want to do some training, here's the details, Firecrest, and uh, talk to Ian, we'll sort you out with some brand new skills and techniques, and you'll be flying. Okay, just me and Kate left, everyone else is gone, training day's finished with Firecrest, we're just going to have a quick lap down Ricochet, which is medium features. I believe it's pretty rooty. Just uh, go at your own speed, I guess. Hi. Use your learnings. Ready? Ready. I'll see you at the bottom. To that bit we did the no brake challenge earlier. Okay, I'm not in this in a while. Oh, 29er flying through. I don't remember where the trail goes. Uh. Oh, no brakes. Too slick for brakes. Oh, a ton of mud in my mouth. Wow, it's so muddy. Can't see. Oh, I can't see. Woo! Probably sliced over in that, but. It was pretty muddy. Whoop. <laughs> he fell over. How was that for you? Pretty good. Yeah, you look good. Oh, it's muddy. It's real muddy. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Had a dodgy curry. <laughs> did you use any of the training techniques? I did. We tried to look up and around the corner. Uh, I <coughs> managed to do the bigger drop. Yeah. Uh, Is that the one we were training with? Or the one before? The one we were doing with Ian earlier. Do that drop? Oh no, this is a different trail. Different trail. Different trail. Different trail. <laughs> it's one of the biggest of the three on Ricochet, which I don't think I've really done before. <coughs> nice. Um, well, you only... I managed to stay on the high line on the route, so I was really happy with that. Good. Um, yeah, I got on the high line. Two Just about. that I used to not be able to ride, I rode round without a problem. Nice. Yeah. Pretty successful. Thank you very much, Ian. Definitely got some really good learnings. Definitely got some dirty bikes. But it was Thank worth you, it. <laughs> if you want to do some training, thoroughly recommend Firecrest and uh, Ian Warby. You can find him on Instagram, Facebook, or at firecrest.com, I think it is. But there'll be links in the video. So. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like and subscribe. And uh, we're off bouldering now, so change out this muddy stuff. Do something else fun. Hey? Into some climbing gear. Into some climbing gear. Here we go.